Watch this trailer. この命を捧げて、こたびの豪運に報いましょう。私はバリロッサ、クライロード騎士団の騎士をしております。私はビレリーって言います。ベラの魔法使い。戦闘の指導をしてくれって頼まれたけど。これは元の方大変そうだね。私が来な世界を救う勇者に選ばれたということなのだ。あ、勇者様。お父様、いくら何でも広すぎ。おはようございます。旦那様。どう。旦那様。旦那様。旦那様。旦那様。This is the story of a humble merchant named Banaza, who hates racism and treats everyone equally. He believes there is no difference between demi-humans and humans and treats them equally, which is hated by everyone, and they call him a hypocrite. One day while going on his routine work, there was a sudden light under his feet, and he was summoned to another world as a hero candidate. Banaza was summoned to the magical kingdom of Clyrod as a hero candidate. However, due to having only the abilities of a regular citizen, he was treated as a disqualified hero. He, who was originally supposed to be returned to his original world, became unable to return due to the magical kingdom's mistake and inevitably had to live in this world. However, the moment he became level 2, he acquired every attainable skill and magical ability and he became a super cheat with stats that transcended no more limits. He then changes his name to Flyo and leads an even more laid-back life. Even so, Benaza, who does things at his own pace with an easy-going smile, takes Fenris of the demon race as his wife and fully enjoys his newlywed life. However, chaos is in store for the Flyo household. On top of a strange pet scythe and four freeloading female knights, even a devil and former demon can join in. Despite his circumstances, even with his life becoming increasingly chaotic, Banaza continues to enjoy his laid-back lifestyle. So this story revolves around Flyer and his demon wife, Fenris, who wants to live a laid-back, lovey-dovey life while maintaining the outside chaos that comes into their lives. This anime shows how different people live together while facing their life problems. It contains slight drama, full comedy, and some action sequences. In this story, there is very little drama as the main character is very strong compared to other characters but has a kind heart due to which he makes almost no enemies from both the demon and human sides. But don't be worried because there is a lot of comedy. Almost every episode is full of comedy by different characters, so you will never get bored while watching it. This has very few action sequences as our main character is strong but does not like to fight, so there is less fighting. But whatever is there is good, not awesome enough to blow your mind, but enough not to disappoint you. So all in all, the adventure of Flyo and Fenris is entertaining. Although it is slow-paced, it is a good story that you will all enjoy to your heart. If I were to rate this story, I would say it is about 7 to 7.5 out of 10. I hope you all will enjoy this anime, and it is worth your time. Thanks for watching. Signing off yours one and only, Lady Anima. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video.